Miles Tracy. Welcome to the zone. Let's clap it up. Are you all excited? It's a new day. I'm excited, glad to be here, glad to serve. Go ahead and tag somebody, share whatever it is you're on, whatever platform you're on. I'm on ready to inspire, to encourage, and to push you into your destiny. Happy Monday. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. My name is Tracy Davis. I am a business and success coach, and I come on every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to encourage you, to inspire you, and to push you into your destiny. I get so excited having the opportunity, so I'm waving at you, uh, thanking you so much for actually taking the time to watch today. All right, my goal is to actually uh, give you some value to help you in whatever your particular endeavors are, okay? Make sure you visit my website at mysuccesszone.com. Mysuccesszone.com, it has all kinds of goodies there, my uh, some of my classes, uh, some of my uh, coaching opportunities that I have. A lot of times I don't have spaces open, so right now we do. This week I'm actually taking on some one-on-one -on -one, uh, clients, so check that out. And then also uh, check out my books and other things, okay? So again, that's mysuccesszone.com, mysuccesszone.com, and welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, thank you for watching me live, and also thanks for watching the replay. So today we're going to be talking about clearing the clutter clearing the clutter. All last week we talked about our inner game and our outer game and we're still continuing in that vein because we're working on the things that are going to propel us into success, right? Yes, we're preparing for yet another year, soon to be. I'm not going to date this video, but we're always in prep mode, all right? And so I had actually posted earlier today that we want to dig the well before we are thirsty. So that means we need to be prepared. We need to be forward thinkers, okay? And so part of that is making making sure that we declutter our environments, okay? We want to declutter. So I want to encourage you to declutter. We're going to start with the outer game and then tomorrow we'll continue this and talk a little bit more about the inner game right because we can have some situations where we're cluttered there as well all right so anyway when we don't clutter why should we even do this why should this even be a topic well it can actually when you have an environment that is full of clutter it can actually up the levels of your anxiety right it can actually affect your sleep OK, obviously it can affect your ability to focus and interfere with productivity. So it's definitely something that we need to do. And now is a really good time to do it. OK, it's a really, really good time to say, what do I need to declutter? When you look around your home, when you look around your office or work area, what do you need to declutter? Right. It could be as uh, simple as looking at your email. How many emails are just sitting there that you need to go ahead and clear out that inbox? Right. You may have. Uh, a storage area. I want you to really take inventory of what is, because these are all blockages, right? And even though I talk about blockages a lot from the inner standpoint, I want to look at our environments, okay? So I have some personal projects that I'll be working on this week. I'm going to go into my closet. I have so many clothes. I love clothes, love shoes. And typically I'll give those things away, but I see that it's cluttered again. I remember Holy Spirit said one time that I had a, a chaotic, I was an organized chaos because I had everything categorized. But it was still messy. It just wasn't organized. So I'm going to fix that. That That's on my goal for this week, right? I'm going to make sure I take care of that. And uh, what else I said I want? Oh, yeah, and I want to uh, take care of some things in my office. I write notes all the time. Like even now, I have like a piece of note paper and I have notebooks everywhere. And so I'm going to release those. I'm going to purge myself of all these notebooks that I have so I can get even more uh, organized. Okay, so I want you to kind of decide what are you going to do? Because all of us can actually look at areas that we can fix, okay? We want to have better sleep. We want to be more organized. We want to be more productive. Okay. Now, why? Uh, when we do this, it's going to open us up to more money. Okay. More opportunities. It's going to open us up to peace of mind. I really want you to feel that uh, because clutter affects us. The things that are around us in our environment, it just really stops our flow. Okay. And so if you want to be in the flow, you want to get rid of the clutter, literally. Okay. Now, one of the questions that I want you to ask yourself as we're making these changes, I like to put things, of course, I talk about affirmations a lot, but one of the things we're doing is flipping the switch and asking ourselves questions. So instead of saying, why am I not organized? Why am I so organized? And when you say it, I want you to say it with a smile. Why am I so organized? 
When you're saying that, you're, you're releasing hope in you. You're releasing being, being positive. You're going to look for ways, right, subconsciously, to be more organized. So, okay, I want you to add that to one of the things that you say to yourself. Why am I so organized? Okay, so that's going to really, really help you. Now, as you're organizing, a lot of times we'll do things so they're cute. So if we're doing live, it looks cute in the background or whatever. But I really want you to focus on you and how things work for you. You need to have a place for everything so that you can find it. Like this weekend, I, I had an errand. I'd gotten up early on Saturday so I could knock some things out and I couldn't find my purse. And it just irritated me, right? And I thought about it, you know, as I was preparing this lesson, how much time we waste looking for things, right? So we really want to get organized, have a place for everything. Um, it, it's so funny to me, like, you know, when you go to the nail salon, I haven't been in a while, but when you go to the nail salon, how they have, you know, everything and they'll use it and they'll put it right back use it and put it right back. And I, you know, I paid attention that years ago, I was like, wow, use it and put it right back in the place. So you always know where it is. So that is something that we need to do in to organize our lives. Okay. And this is in your home life and in your work life. Okay. Um, your desk, your inbox, your closet. Okay. And then I want you to come up with a plan on how am I going to deal with things as they come in? That's for your work. That's as you, you know, for an example, when you work is over, and you need to have a plan. What do I do with my work clothes? Where am I putting my briefcase? You know, where am I putting my shoes? Whatever. Have a place for everything because it's really going to help you with your mindset. It's going to help you with being more organized, being more focused, all of those types of things. Okay. You need to have a declutter project this week. And if you don't mind letting me know in the comments, if you're going to choose a declutter project, I would absolutely love it. Hey, Mia. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Bridget. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. Because we're all about that peace of mind. We're all about making sure that we're doing things that can make us better in our lives. And so we have to really care about ourselves. And so when we look at our environment, you know, is my environment conducive to the productivity? Is my environment making me feel good? You know, you may need to buy some new pictures or new posters and things like that, you know, to make yourself feel good. If there's anything around you that makes you feel like, oh, this is old. Oh, this is my past. Oh, I want you to declutter. I want you to get rid of it. This is what we're doing this week. Okay. Now, of course, I said we're starting with our outer, with our outer game, but tomorrow we're going to be talking about some of that inner stuff that's in us that's keeping us stuck. But a lot of times we focus on the inner and then our, our offices are a mess or our bedroom is a mess. Do you have clothes laying on top of your treadmill? You know what I'm saying? That's clutter. So we got to get rid of all these things. So Mia says, yes, I need to declutter my car. That's a good one. And work on a new vision board. Very good. Very good. I love that. Yeah, I forgot about the car. I'm very funny about my car. So there's probably nothing in my car, but my closet is jacked up right now. Okay, so I will fix that. Downstairs looks pretty good. My garage looks pretty good, but my closet, I got to take care of that. And then my makeup area, I want to fix that too. Because again, guys, we don't want to waste time. We don't want to take waste time. We can't get it back. Okay, so this wasn't going to be long. I just really wanted to kind of give you something practical today. And we're going to start with making sure we declutter. Okay, make a list of what you want to change. Hey, on Day, we want to make sure that like I have books. I have so many books. I'm a reader and a writer and I need to go through and say, you know what? I need to give some of these away. I don't have to keep everything, right? Have you ever fallen into a trap where you feel like you keep everything? That could be tied to something else that we'll get a chance to share more about tomorrow. But I want you to get into the mode of let's release because when we release from our hands, we're not, the hand is also open so we can also receive, right? So if you're wanting something new, get rid of the old so we have space for it, okay? So that's all I wanted to share today. I'm hoping that that helped you. I love that Mia said she's going to declutter her car this week. If there's something that you're going to do, I want you to let me know. And then I want you to be accountable and let me know you did it, okay? I'm going to come back and say, hey guys, I got rid of some things. I organized my closet to make it better. We want our environments to to be better right and I just believe that that's going to it's going to change some things okay so let's let's make a commitment to each other to make sure that we declutter all right our environment all right and so with that being said I will see you guys tomorrow all right let's hang out again we're going to talk about the inner game have a good day God bless thanks for hopping on guys I really appreciate it